Hello mga kawamat, sa video lesson nito, we will discuss about circular permutations. When we say circular permutation, it is the arrangement of objects in a circular manner. So again, so yung circular permutation is another kind of permutation no? aside from uh, distinguishable permutation, the permutation of an object taken or at a time. So it is another kind of permutations. So sa VG lesson na to, meron tayong dalawang formula depende sa problem no, na ibibigay. So kapag it involved the number of circular permutation of n different things, we are using this formula. No? Gagamitin natin yung formula na n minus 1 factorial. At kapag ang given problem naman, it involved the number of permutations of n different things around a key ring and the like. So, ang gagamitin nating formula is n minus 1 factorial divide 2 or over 2. So, again, meron tayong dalawang formula na gagamitin depende sa ibibigay na problem. So, kapag yung problem is if n objects are to be arra arranged around a circle, so, tatandaan natin na ang formula dyan ay yung n minus 1 factorial. Pero kapag mga ganito class, around a key ring, so itong formula ang gagamitin natin. Okay? So, let's start. So, how many ways can 10 different colored toy horses be arranged in a merry-go-round? Again, how many ways can 10 different colored toy horses be arranged in a merry-go-round? So, ang una natin gagawin is to identify the value of n. So, ano kayo yung value ng n? n is equal to 10. Okay, so since na-identify na natin kung ano yung n natin at kung ano yung value niya, we can use now the formula. So, applying the formula, so that is n minus 1 factorial, is a substitute lang natin yung value ni n. Okay, so that is 10 minus 1 factorial. And that is 9 factorial. So, 9 factorial is equal to 362,880. So, paano nangyari yon? So, expand lang natin yung 9 factorial. That is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1. Okay, 362,880 ways. Another example. In how many ways can 9 people be seated at a round table? So again, no, yung problem involved arrange around a table. No? Naka-arrange around sa round table. So therefore, ang formula na gagamitin natin is same nung nasa taas. And that is n minus 1 factorial. So ano ba yung n natin dito? So that is 9. So therefore, so, substitute lang natin sa formula natin and that is 9 minus 1 factorial. 9 minus 1 factorial is equal to 8 factorial. And 8 factorial is equal to 40,320 ways. Okay? Another, a spinner be divided 15 equal parts. So, how many ways can you arrange? 5 colors in it. So, again, a spinner be divided into 15 equal parts. So, how many ways can you arrange 5 colors in it? So, first, what is N? And that is 5. So, substituting on the formula by N minus 1 factorial. So, 5 minus 1 factorial. So, meron tayong 5 minus 1 factorial. That is 4 factorial. And 4, time, 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3. 12 times 2, 24 times 1, so that's 24. So, ibig sabihin, 24. Okay? Another example. In how many ways may be the vertices of a regular heptagon be named with the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and G? Again, in how many ways may be the vertices of a regular heptagon be named with the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Okay, so bibilangin lang natin kung ilan to. Ilang elements meron tayo. So, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7. So, therefore, n is equal to 7. So, sa substitute lang ulit sa formula, and that is n minus 1 factorial. So, 7 minus 1 factorial is equal to 6 factorial. And 6 factorial is equal to 720 ways. Okay? Okay, how about if we have a problem that have a condition, no? Merong condition. Let's say, okay, the problem is Snow White arranged the seven dwarfs around a main pool. So, first, how many ways can she arrange them? So, wala namang condition na binigay. So, ibig sabihin, uh, kukunin lang natin yung value ng n, and that is 7. Okay, kasi merong 7, okay, the snow, uh, 7 dwarfs. So, using the formula, so that is 6 factorial, so kanina nakuha na, na may na- May na-encounter tayo na yung 6 factorial is equal to 720. So, ano yung sinasabi ko na may condition? Okay, like for example sa letter B, may condition dito. In how many ways can she do it if Doc and Sleepy are to be together? So, again, in how many ways can she do it if Doc and Sleepy are to be together? So, ibig sabihin kung 7 dwarfs yon no? Meron na lang anim kasi yung dalawa magkasama. So paano natin kukunin? Okay, paano natin kukunin? Okay, first 6 na lang, di ba? 6 na lang sila kasi yung dalawa nga magkasama, di ba? From 7 dwarfs magiging anim na lang kasi yung dalawa uh, mag, mag uh, kasama, no? Magkasama na sila. So count as 1 na lang sila. So using the formula 6 factorial but, of course, class, we also consider the arrangement of two, si Doc and Sleepy. So, kailangan natin i-consider yung arrangement in Doc and Sleepy, and that is two factorial. Okay? Kasi dalawa sila. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin, i-multiply lang natin, okay, yung six, fact uh, 6 minus 1 factorial times 2 factorial. So, again... So, paano ulit natin nakuha yung 6? Okay, nakuha yung 6 from 7 dwarfs. Meron daw dalawa na um, uh, to be together, no? So, count as 1 na lang. Kaya, 6 na lang. And then, i-consider din natin yung arrangement tong dalawa. Si Doc and Sleepy. So, therefore, applying the formula, 6 minus 1 factorial. That is 5 factorial times 2 factorial. And then, the answer is 240. Okay? Kasi 5 factorial is 120 times 2 factorial. 2 factorial is 2. 120 times 2, that is 240. Okay, how about, okay, uh, uh, if we have this problem, no? in how many ways can 10 keys be arranged on a key ring? Okay, in how many ways can 10 keys be arranged on a key ring? So, ito ay another no another example no na it involves circular circular arrangement pero kapag ganitong ex, uh, problem class ibang formula yung gagamitin natin kapag ganito no yung naka-arrange o na-key ring so ibang formula ang gagamitin natin so ano yon so first identify the value of n and that is 10 sabi ko nga ibang formula ang gagamitin natin dito so, yung pangalawang formula, that is n minus 1 factorial divided by 2. So, substitute yung n natin, that is 10 minus 1 factorial divided 2. 9 factorial divided 2 is equal to 181,440 ways. Okay, pangalawa. In how many ways can 8 different colored beads be arranged on a bracket? Uh, this is bracelet, uh, rather. Wait, ayusin natin. Okay, again. In how many ways can 8 different colored beads be arranged in a bracket? So, ito ay kagaya ng uh, problem natin sa taas. No? So, ibang formula yung gagamitin natin. So, same formula nung sa nasa taas natin. So, yung value ng n natin dito is 8. And then, using the formula, so n minus 1 factorial divide 2. So, 8 minus 1 factorial divide 2. So, 7 factorial divide 2. And 7 factorial divide 2 
The answer is 2,520. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.